tutorial, we will start studying about wireframe and surface design. To invoke wireframe and surface design, go to mechanical design and select wireframe and surface design. You could name your part here, click on OK. Unlike part design, the outputs in the wireframe and surface design is in a different format altogether. So if we try creating a surface, surface and output in the wireframe and surface design is always a surface and, and its thickness is limited to a zero thickness. If we switch back to the part design workbench, however, and if I try to do a pad for the same, you could see that a solid pad is being created. Let's hide this. And then we will create another pad on the same sketch in the reverse direction and we will click on OK. And now I will create another extrude here in the reverse direction click on OK. Now let's see the difference between the part design and wireframe and surface design. As I unhide, let's first hide both the surfaces here. And let me hide, unhide the pad. If I unhide the pad, the whole solid comes into the screen. And if I try to hide one, the whole thing goes. Whereas in the surface, each surface acts as a single entity. So a pad is a pad or a solid model is always related to the part body. So you could only hide an, a solid object if you create that particular solid feature in another part body. For example, if I insert another body and in that body let's say we have a similar sketch in this I'll just copy paste the sketch and I will hide this part body and we have that sketch here and in this case as I go for the part part design and if I try to try to create the pad. The pad here is different and the pad here is different. So I hope you understood the basic difference before we start with the wireframe and surface design workbench. Now let's see the different tools available in the wireframe and surface design in our next tutorial. Thank you.